the thing that lets us do what we're doing is electric fencing and, and this kind of equipment. For years there, the numbers worked out that for the feed cost, we were at uh, 65 cents a day or something for feed for those calves. And all we were running was a quad or a gator to go out there and move the wire. So, you know, the overhead cost of, of making that work through the winter was, was, was pretty minimal. We don't have a lot of machinery to start off with, so we've got to do it without investing money into machinery. So we have a tractor and a seed drill and uh, we rent a swather. So that's pretty much our whole machinery for our cattle operation. When we swath graze, there's no overheads. When we can walk out here and ride the horse or the truck, you're gonna see them anyway. It's once you start adding tractors or bale shredders or anything, and we've tried to eliminate most of that, um, maybe not because we wanted to, but because we had to to survive. But we load a bunch of square bales on the gooseneck, she drives and I fork them off every other day. And, uh, it just makes it cheap so that we can afford to live our values and do what we want to do rather than just paying for equipment the rest of our lives. As an industry we can get so caught up in trying to um, you know, save every last ounce of feed um, that we'll spend an awful lot of money doing it. Um, you know that job of feeding and running equipment around to do so um, you know and there's times when it's necessary and there may be places that it's it's absolutely necessary but um, I just find that yeah, and even if you had to, you could leave a lot of feed behind before you match what you've spent in diesel. When I started feeding, it was all done on foot. I walked out with snowshoes, tractor didn't go in there, truck didn't go in there. I walked everything from the yard. To uh, switch from, from using big, the big, big tractor and the, and the bale shredder and uh, having, to, having to depend on those for the winter, um, we found that uh, we can do the same thing with a pickup truck and a bale deck and uh, the feed dispenser proved to be a, a valuable item because we could supplement, we could mix uh, minerals and uh, we could make up a ration with that. So that over the years has, has really revolutionized our, our wintering. I just have an old three quarter ton pickup with a bale handler on the back. They're really handy to have if, if you can find a used, you know, some type of a yeah, used handler and, and trucks are a dime a dozen for, for something old. We've always really hesitated to borrow because I've found that nothing kills creativity and innovation like borrowed money. 